I'm sure you've heard of the saying, a good beginning is half the battle. But did you know that the same works for food? Let me explain. When we eat, food gets digested by our body that converts it into glucose, amino acids and lipids. However, the preparations of our body to the ingestion of food start even before we take the first bite, during the so-called cephalic phase. This phase is stimulated by seeing, smelling, and tasting food. All of this triggers a series of physiological changes to ensure that nutrients are rapidly metabolized and more efficiently removed from the circulation. These include increased saliva production, increased heart rate, and secretion of digestive enzymes. Recent studies demonstrated that during the cephalic phase, two food intake regulatory neuronal populations in the hypothalamus are being rapidly and transiently regulated. These are the orexigenic food intake promoting AGRP neurons, which become inhibited upon the perception of food, and the anorexigenic food intake suppressing POMC neurons, which become activated upon food perception. Based on this, we decided to test the hypothesis whether the sight and smell of food is enough to prime the liver for the incoming food. We chose the liver due to its central role in metabolism, in particular in coping with calorie income. To do this, we utilized mouse models in which the mice were either allowed to eat, or they were only able to see and smell the food, referred to as cage food. We used a combination of screens to check in the liver for phosphorylation of signaling proteins, gene transcripts, and lipids on a global, unbiased scale. Our analysis revealed that important players involved in the hepatic response to feeding are already activated upon food perception. mTOR is a protein involved in multiple cellular processes that is able to activate hepatic signaling in the presence of circulating nutrients and insulin. mTOR signaling was activated in both food and cage food exposed mice. The same worked for the XBP1 gene. XBP1, in its mature isoform, is a transcription factor that helps the cell to cope with endoplasmic reticulum ER, stress by promoting protein folding and ER expansion. Moreover, lipidomic analyses of the liver in our two conditions revealed an increase in phosphatidylcholines and phosphatidylethanolamines, both being major components of cell membranes. Altogether, this pathway affects the ER, which is a major site of protein synthesis, folding and secretion, as well as lipid synthesis in the cell, promoting its expansion and remodeling. Interestingly, we found that POMC neuron activation is sufficient to promote hepatic mTOR signaling and XBP1 splicing and maturation, thus revealing this neuronal population as an important player in priming the liver for the food to come. Finally, we revealed that the activation of POMC neurons promotes sympathetic nerve activity in the liver to promote mTOR and XBP1 signaling. Going back to our saying, a good beginning is half the battle. And how does this apply to food? A good perception is half the digestion. So next time that you prepare to eat that delicious meal, do not worry, because thanks to your brain, your liver is primed and it's already getting ready to get the best out of your food.